think it's finally started to go. All right, I think we got a bite right over here. We're wanting to bring you catfishing live. We're catfishing live here, first time on the G3 Boats uh, Facebook page. We just had a hit on this on this pole right here. So let's see if we got him. Oh, he's down there in the. You in the junk? He's down there in the junk. Hopefully, he didn't get any anchor rope. How we looking up there, Dominic? Woo wee! Let's get we're here on Grand Lake, here in Oklahoma, and we're here with Team Catfish, Jeff Williams, and Dominic. I'd say Dominic's last name, but Pellegrino. Yeah, I just don't. I don't have a Sicilian accent. <laughs> but we're out here catfishing. It's a beautiful January day, and we've got our first cat on. He's giving me a fit now. Look at oh, that. That's a nice one. Come on now, baby. Come on. Hey, when they're pulling drag, that's pretty good. He's got that Thundercat bit double. Look at this now. I'm not kidding you. I think it might be a good one. I think it could. <laughs> We've got the... Old Dominic's there got the, got the Team Catfish grippers. And I'm not trying to milk this. I'm trying to get him up. Oh, nice catfish. Oh, ho, 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 I want you to look at one of catfish. Don't you lose my fish now, Dominic. I'm going to look around. There may be another hitting. Usually, you better just, just manhandle. Just grab his line. You got. You just take your time. I'll throw, I'll throw you He's in hooked. there with him. He's hooked good. There he started to open up. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you know. <laughs> there you got your finger. <laughs> they will tear you up and I mean. Looky <laughs> here, boys. I want to tell you, look at here. Not too bad for the first live feed of G3 boats. Look what a catfish now. Dead gum. I'm telling you. Oh, there's a big there's fish, fish right, there. right here. He may steal my thunder. Let me get this fish undone. He got me whipping me. He's whipping me right now. Goodness gracious. Golly. Let's see if I can get that hook out. I don't think this one's as big as Scott. Well, he ain't as big, but it's a it's a live catfish. Right. It's just fun, I'm telling you. This live feed stuff is just a blast, man. We get fire. we just get to take the there. Take the people fishing with us. Scott, bottom of that, uh, bottom of that white one right here. Yeah, that's a nice catfish there, Dominic. And the bottom of a white. There's two <laughs> white. One of them. White. Why wouldn't they be where you can get two? That's a big one. Okay, that's I still ain't even got the hook out of this one yet. Yeah, that one. Woo-wee! Yep. There's nothing wrong with that. Man, Jeff, you're gonna have to show me how to. All right, show you how to get that hook out. Okay, guys, one of the tips I always give everybody when they're catfishing, everybody always wants to bring their rod in the boat. Use your rod holders just like you would a vise. Get that rod out of the boat because them catfish will slap around there and they will break your rods for sure. So now we got our fish. Old double X and hooks got him. I'm gonna kind of get him up here. We're in the floating fish grip where I can work with him. No need to get in too big a hurry. Get him up there and just uh, like I was saying on the Team Catfish live feed a minute ago, the double action comes out just like it went in. You just kind of roll it. You don't really have to get too violent with it. There it started to pop out right there and then just get a little deeper. There it is. She comes right out. Now, guys. That's a double action team catfish hook. That's the number one seller we have in the team catfish brand. And they go in like that and they come out like that. Don't shake them and jerk them and yank on them because the bones in these bones in these fish's mouths are really hard and they will bend the tips on those hooks. So if you want to save your tips, back them out just like they go in. So I'm going to let, let big 
big boy here grab his catfish oh, he, oh my gosh look at that big old catfish how about that now how about that that's a dandy Ooh that is a dandy dominic get your phone take a picture of me with my fish oh, get one right here with jeff doing the live feed and me getting the Get the picture of my fish. We got to put this fish back in. We're here on Grand Lake. I seen somebody ask while we go. Got it. We're in Grand Lake in Oklahoma. We're here with Team Catfish. And uh, we've been doing live feeds. I'm about to war out. He's burping right now. And we got to put this fish back in. But man, what a great fish right here. Let's get this fish in. Woo! All right, Bubba. Thank you for the fun. Thank you for the fun. Oh, that was so much fun. Nice big old catfish. Look at it. Look at him go. All the way down to bottom. Down he went. Woo! Oh, fish right there. Back corner. Got him? Yep. Man, I'll tell you. Here we are in January. And what is it? 17th, 18th of January. 19th or 18th one of them days in january and out here on a beautiful day like i said we're here in north east oklahoma on grand lake of the cherokees we're doing some catfishing we're with a longtime partner jeff williams with team catfish we got his first mate and protege dominic uh pellegrino pellegrino so don't nobody give him no lip because he's sicilian <laughs> and uh We've got, we just did this live feed, and we've already, this is our third fish. Nice catfish. I think you can just get him in. You can put the hat fairy flip on him. I'll grab him. I don't want to break him. That, there's no telling that line could get frayed and everything else down there. All right, here we go. There's nothing wrong with that catfish either. Now, boys, I know we, we kind of spoiled you on that first one, but I want you to look at the big gutted rascal right there. You don't think these fish ain't healthy? Down here on Grand Lake, I'll tell you, he's just burping. These fish are healthy. They are fun to catch. We're letting them go and uh, so other people can enjoy them. You can see all the mud on that fish where he's been down there feeding and going. There's lots of bait in here on this lake. And I'll tell you what, we are having a ball. I'm so tired, I don't even know if I'll be able to get the hook out of his mouth. There's been pliers there, Jeffy. I can't do it with that here. I just can't work that arm. Get that fish undone. There you go. We'll get this one back in. Once again, we're here with G3 Boats doing our first live feed, and I couldn't think of a better fish to do it with as with catfish, and then nobody better than the Team Catfish crew. Let me get this fish back in. Always remember, put that strap around your hand when you let that fish go because... There you go. Look at him. Down he went. Down to the bottom. This is another great tool that Team Catfish makes here, the fish grip. Everybody's seen them by now. They're bright yellow, easy to tell. And I'll tell you what, they will save your hands. These things are great. You can hook them anywhere when you're done. Hang them for easy access where you can get to them. When you get that fish, grab that dude, stick it around. Now you got him when you got that right there. I want to show everybody some too, guys. Um, there is a, a China supplier out there right now importing these. And if they don't say the fish grip on them, and they don't say teamcatfish.com on, they are an they are an imposter. And uh, they're not made out of the same material. They don't have the same pins. Uh, they're not an American-made product. And um, anyway, there's only one yellow team catfish grip that says teamcatfish.com on it. If you want the deal, the HD one that's made for great big catfish, you want to get the one that says teamcatfish.com on it. It still floats, and it's made out of heavy-duty material that won't break when those catfish start flopping on you guys, especially when you put them back in the water. I'm going to clip that on my Driftmaster rod holder. God's going to get that back out there, and I want to talk a little bit about the boat. Hey, we're out here live with G3 Boats on their page and hadn't even had time to talk about it we're catching too many fish this is the g3 sportsman 200 edition 
um, 20 foot long, 72 inches wide, got a 15 degree dead rise on it, got nice big windshields so you guys can roll around out here and uh, not get wind blown to death or get bug beat up. And uh, We got a big live well in the back back there, Dominic's standing on, Scott's uh, back in the back corner, back where the back anchor is. They're trying to get all the rods back out because we just uh, just lit them up. So anyway, this boat has a uh, camo finish on it, and it's got a, like a rhino liner in it. It uh, when you get that catfish slime all over the back, like we got right here, um, it's an anti-slip finish. It's a lot better than a, a real slick aluminum type finish. So um, the camo, of course, doesn't show a whole lot of dirt. I'm outfitted with Driftmaster rod holders right here. And we're outfitted by using the Driftmaster bases in the gunnels. And the Driftmaster uh, slide back and forth in the gunnels right here. You can position them anywhere you want. And then we've got star bases right there screwed to the back lid. Got team catfish rods and reels. Uh, we've got a Garmin uh, locators on this boat. Uh, there's the big windshields. And uh, I'm using some big heavy anchors to hold us out here. We are anchored in uh, 35 foot of water. And you can see the big, big fish moving across the bottom there right now. And um, we're actually casting out into about 60 foot. And um, we're back, you know, back out in about 60 foot. So I, uh, come okay, back. there it went, there it came back. Had a text come through. But, uh, that's the boat we're in guys. Um, well, like I said, we're casting out into about 60 foot of water. There's no current here on the lake today. Water temperature is uh, 44 degrees. We're fishing with cut drum and cut skipjack and, um, you know, it's working out pretty good for us. It is. This, uh, like I said, Jeff was describing our boat, the Sportsman 200. Got spray in lining in here, so it's got a, a nice, not rough, I'd say, but a good textured finish right here where it's non slip because when you're catfishing, you got slime everywhere. Of course, it's going to be, it, it could get slick, but really, we've got old rubber, rubber sole boots and it's not slick at all. We've got a 65 gallon live well right here. And the way we've got it set up with the channels that are here in the gunnels, we can move our, our Driftmaster rod holders anywhere we want to on here. Jeff's got this thing really rigged up well. This is his boat. And we've got a F200 Yamaha on there that pushes this boat, I mean, extremely well. It's really made for rough water. It won't beat you up. It's a good, comfortable ride. You won't get wet. There's enough problems out there on the water. Getting back shouldn't be one of them. And you... You really don't have the problems like that with uh, G3. Oh, we're here. gonna bend over right I here. I have another one loaded up right here. We both, this is a live feed now, so you've been with us as long as we've been out here. And uh, we, this is the way we started the live feed. We saw a hit and we thought, well, let's go live right now before we reel down on him and get him. And uh, sure enough, that fish was there when Scott reeled down and got him. So uh, normally we start out with the smaller fish and then we close when we when we were doing shows with the big fish but hey we'll take them as they come because that was a dandy that first one well that was a dandy super duper fish but uh we've had a big time out here we're having a having a lot of fun we really appreciate you guys coming up this is our very first live feed on uh, g3 boats and we're just really tickled to death to have you guys here jeff is anybody even are they on there? Yeah, Are they we coming? Got 53 people with us right now. Um, has anybody got any questions? We're going to keep the live feed running while we're out here catfishing for a few more minutes. Anybody got any questions on the boat or the tackle or where we're at? All that good stuff. Go ahead and ask. I mean, there's a lot of people got a lot of good questions that uh, don't, don't feel like your question is um, not a good one because we need, uh, we need people asking questions. Those questions help a whole lot of others. Yeah, and plus, like I said, this is our live first live feed, and I got this idea, if, you know, from watching other people do that. And then Jeff is so successful in doing his on Team Catfish that he just gets thousands upon thousands of people watch on these live feeds, and it's a it's a good way for all of us to interact and 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 see our products in action, whether it be our boat or or Jeff's products, and and it's just a lot of fun to be able to come out here and do this. And it's something new for me. I'm always used to being in front of the camera. Yeah. But 
we edit it and put it out there and, and show it later on, on TV. But now this live, I always say when we're on some good fish, when we, when we would be doing shows, I said, man, we could do a live feed. Well, now we're doing it. All right, we got some questions. All right, Mark, what kind of bait you got on the rods? This is a skipjack and cut drum right now is what we're using. And uh, if we're bringing them in, hitting them with a little bit of dead red blood spray every now and then and um, getting them back out there. And we got another question. Uh, how do you rig your bait? Um, we're gonna here. We got one uh, right here that we're gonna show you how we how we rig that up. And he's gonna he's gonna put that old piece of bait off there and untangle that one, and we'll show you how how we rig these rods up. There you go. Six, somebody show him, oh, hang show on. Him Chris says six poles for two guys. Cheaters. Well, in Oklahoma, you can use six rods per person, so we're not cheating too bad. We could be fishing with twelve. Yeah. Dominic, show everybody how our rods are rigged up. So what we're doing today is we use a 65-pound uh, tug-of-war braid main line, and uh, we're using a sinker slider. You put your sinker slider on your main line, and that keeps your uh, sinker from getting tangled up in your line. It's nice and easy. And you can clip your sinkers off and on. You can change yep. sinker sizes without having to cut your line, guys, and you can take your sinkers off your rods at night instead of letting them sinkers beat your rods up. So then you put a you slide a sinker bumper on there after and what what the sinker bumper does is basically protects your knot here from your sinker slider coming down and hitting it and fraying that line. So that'll protect your knot. You don't have to retie all the time. Then we come to a uh, barrel swivel. Big heavy barrel swivel everybody. Don't get don't use little little bitty stuff. Use big heavy heavy barrel swivel like a one or two odd. So from your barrel swivel on your leader end we're tying about a, this is about a 12 inch liter. Um, is this 50 pound mono? That's 50 pound tug of war monofilament liter. To uh, our Team Catfish double action, this is an A dot. Uh, I snelled this one on, you don't have to snell it. Uh, you can just tie a regular polymer knot or whatever. Um, so that's your rig right there. All right. Uh, one guy wanted to know what the cost of the boats were, was, Scott. And, <laughs> and that, you guys, I'm gonna tell you, the cost of the boat is going to be proportional with how you rig it and yeah. what options you have and how big a motor you put on it. Uh, but the boats are uh, pretty economical um, when you look at how much fishing and, and the kind of fishing you can use this for a family boat. It's a safe boat. It's a catfish boat. It's a great striper boat. Um, you can pan fish out of it. Shoot, you can do just about anything in this boat, can't you? Yeah, you can, and, and you can really rig it up with as much stuff as you want. You know, we have the optional power poles that you could put on here up to a 200 horse four-stroke Yamaha. I mean, we have a lot of guys run these boats with, a, with the 150, and so if you think about that, that can cut your price down, you know, quite a bit on, on the boat, and then of course you can do you know as far as electronics i mean you can you can hit the shoot to the moon putting on electronics on stuff uh, a lot of guys that use these boats they may not use electronics up on the front they may only use the one on the console so you know if you don't use a, a console or a uh, electronics on the bow then that could probably save you some money so we got one moving around yeah, down there they've been kind of kind of lightly hitting we had everything hitting all at once and now they kind of slowed down but they're we might actually okay. ha have a little bit pecking again. Guys, a lot of times these big blue catfish, they don't really slam the rods over. Um, we call it the slow bend. Those big fish, you know, it doesn't take, it, they don't have to work very hard to eat. And especially out here in a lake where there's no current, a lot of times they'll gulp it in and swim off real slow. And you'll see that old rod tip start to bend over. and. She just keeps on going, and then and those great big fish, man, they just keep on bending them over. So we got a question here. Do you like open face or bait casters, or does it matter? Do you fish flats or drop-offs and depths? Yeah, well, right now we are fishing drop-offs. This, this is, we've got a water temperature of around 40, 44, 45 degrees, and, and what we're doing here now, you got to figure, we're in northeast Oklahoma, uh, air temperature's 50, we've had some cold weather and warm weather, it's just been up all, all over the place. Jeff's got us in a place right now, we are sitting in about 35 feet of water, but just off to us, not probably, what, 50 yards, we're in another 90 feet of water, right. so there's a lot of big chunk rock, 
everything down here that these that these fish this is where a lot of the shad are congregating watch that corner let's let, let's let that oh i thought that i, I thought too. we were gonna get to see the old slow bend too. on that one let's but, keep our eyes peeled on that rod right there for a second yeah he's he's liable that right there might have a fish on it yeah i thought it was coming at us yeah i did I too because I, I, I saw it hitting earlier and he may be coming at us with that one right there that dom's playing with and we'll see see if he's on there nope. no okay all right sometimes but, they will do that they'll come towards you and uh, but yeah to go back to it yeah we are what's that oh you got that there line. was something in it he dropped it okay yeah we got away. those tightened up a little too tight in the back right now but uh, yeah we are fishing in some deeper holes right now uh but that's not to say jeff tell them that a lot of times in these mud flats uh, this time of year, those shad move up on that, and you can catch them in the shallower water, can't you? You, you can, and I want to, Quentin, I want to address your your uh, question about do you like bait casters or open face, and it's, it's uh, or bait casters or casting reels, spin casters, and I really, personally, out here in this open water where there's no current, and I don't have to deal with a whole lot of torque, I really like these spin cast reels because you can cast them a mile, and you can pick up lines so much faster with a spinning reel than you can a bait caster even though these bait casters are 6.1 to 1 that we're using now if you take me over to a current situation where i'm out in the river and i'm dealing with a lot of current and i'm hauling in some big fish in the current you give me a bait caster every time because they got a smaller spool on them that you get a lot more torque per reel handle than you can with the, the spinning rods but out here in this open water where we have to cast a long long way and we want to reel in uh, as fast as we can sometimes um, i really like the spinning reels so um uh, jj wants to know how deep y'all fishing well well we've got the boat positioned in 35 feet of water right now and uh, well, that's 36, and and really, I don't think we're fishing much deeper. I think we've got maybe out 50 feet. Yeah, we're fishing probably casting out into 60, and some of the rods are swinging. We're what are you doing with that one? we're letting them swing back up into the uh, 30 foot range. But uh, when we first got here, um, I tried to get them out as far from the boat as I could, and we were fishing 50, 60 foot of water uh, just about everywhere, just about everywhere we casted. But hey, we want to thank you guys, all of you, for uh, tuning into the first live feed from G3 Boats. It's been a lot of fun. We're going to keep doing this from time to time. And, uh, you know, check in with our partners there with Jeff Williams with Team Catfish. He's the guru of these live feeds. Thousands upon thousands of people come in there and, and watch him. He's a great buddy of ours and a partner with him. And uh, if you guys are interested in looking at, the, at our great boat here, our G3 Sportsman 200, you know, holler at your nearest dealer. Get online at g3boats.com. You want to watch any any shows or episodes that we have, get over on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash g3sportsman, and also go over and check out our buddy Jeff's page at any of the Team Catfish sites, his YouTube page, teamcatfish.com, flea fly, bow hunter one. I mean, he's got it all for the fisherman and the hunter out there. Check that out. You know, he's a, he's a great partner of ours. We love him to death. We're going to sign off right now. We may actually move to another spot. But just keep checking in with us from time to time. We'll have some more live feeds coming in. And, uh, hey, that's all the time we got for this uh, little live feed episode. So just remember, Bye. keep what you can use, release the rest, and we'll see you on the next feed. Bye. Thank you very much.